In this video, I will teach you how to set up a development environment for the C programming language on a Windows operating system. The first step is to install Visual Studio Code. We will use VS Code to write our C programs. A link to this page is in the description. Once you are on the page, you can hit the download button to get VS Code. Or click the arrow down button to pick whatever operating system you are using. After downloading, install it on your computer. The next step is to install the MinGW compiler. We need the compiler in order to convert programs that we write in C into machine code that the computer can understand. There is a link to this page in the description below. Next, hit the download button. The download should begin after 5 seconds. When download is done, open the exe file. Next, click install and click continue. I have MinGW installed, so I will click reinstall. For you, click continue and wait for it. After installation, hit continue. You will be brought to this window. We will be installing the GCC, G++ compiler. Tick it and click mark for installation. I have it installed, hence, why it says unmark. Next, click installation and click apply change. The setup was successful. Now you can click close. The next step is to add MinGW to path. Head to this PC in your file explorer and follow to the path you see on the screen. Next, copy the file path. Then click the Windows icon or button and type ENV. Click the result that comes up. Next, click environment variables. After, click path and click new. Next, paste the path you copied and click OK and OK. I will then proceed to test my C program in Visual Studio Code to see if the setup works. I wrote a C program that prints Hello World. Let's run the program. Hello and welcome to this uh, video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your development environment for the C programming language on the Mac operating system. So uh, uh, there's a link in the description below that will bring you to this um, page where you can download Visual Studio Code as we are going to be using Visual Studio Code as our code editor. So just uh, when you get to this page, just select whatever operating system you're using and download it. So once you download it, just to run through the installation and install um, Visual Studio Code. So once you've done that, um, I want you to open Visual Studio Code. And then once you open it, there are a few uh, configurations that we're going to need to make. So as you can see, this is just um, a basic um, program, C program that prints Hello World. So I would want you to, first of all, go towards the extensions icon, click it. And we're going to need to install two extensions. So the first extension is the C and C++ extension, sorry. Just type CC and it should bring out this extension, the one by Microsoft. So just click it and it should bring you to this page. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to need you to hit install. So once you hit install, we now need to download the second extension that we need. So once this is done installing, just come over here back to the extensions and search for code runner. So um, code runner, this one. So it's the first one by Junhan. 
so once you click it um, just install this extension also so when this is done installing i would want you to go to your settings then um click um extensions now once you're in sorry i want you to go to settings and click uh, settings again now once you are in your settings i want you to click extensions now scroll down and then we are looking for run code configuration so just click that now once you've clicked that i want you to scroll down right here up until where you see run in terminal so right here so for you it's probably on tick so just make sure you tick it and then once you've ticked it just close the uh, settings tab so once you've done that just close your vs code and open it again so that all the changes can uh, reflect so after you've done that we can now go ahead and i am just going to test this c program to see if it works so once i run it you can see it's printing out hello world in the terminal so that means the installation works properly if you're having any errors you can just leave a comment in the comment section and i will reply you so this video in this video we talked about how to set up um, your development environment for c on the mac operating system in the next video we're going to talk about uh, writing your first uh, program in c so i am going to see you in the next video thank you for watching